I want to go down to my compound section and identification. Now, with the first injection highlighted on the left-hand side, in the chromatographic window, currently, my first peak is highlighted and it's grayed and the window is has a nice uh, gray column in it. I'm going to click the control button on my keyboard and select in the chromatographic view, in the chromatograms window, the second peak, the third peak, and the fourth peak. And now all of those will have gray windows and gray columns associated with each one of those peaks. So now I have four columns corresponding to my four peaks in my chromatogram. Then I'm going to right mouse click inside that chromatogram again and select to add multiple peaks as compounds to the method. That's going to add for me those four named peaks and put it in my compound table. Now, by default, it's going to label them with their retention times. So it has peak at, four point, at 0 0.45 minutes, peak at 0 0.59 minutes, et cetera. Maybe that's not the name I would like. So instead, I can click on the first named peak, and I can type in the name I want to give it. I'm going to give mine rich dash one peak. For the second one, I'm going to call it rich dash two. Same for rich dash three. And you can be naming yours whatever one you want. And as we're typing in these peak names, notice that the peak names are being changed in real time on the chromatogram. Now again, making sure that our lowest level standard is the one that we have highlighted on the left-hand side, which should be the very, very first injection of that rich no of set of results. I have now named each one of my compounds. Now, in the chem station world, in order for you to name a peak in a chromatogram, it forced you to create a calibration curve, even if you didn't put quantitation in the calibration curve it still forced you to have to create a calibration curve. In Open Lab CDS, those two different aspects are completely separated. I have an aspect where I want to label my peaks. That's for the identification. After that, I can then create a calibration of those named peaks if I so choose. But they are two completely separate items.